In Idaho Public Schools, a conversation about what happens in the bathrooms has somehow reached top billing all the way up into the legislature. The question across Idaho, where do trans students go to use the restroom? Concerned citizens, concerned citizens in a number of Idaho communities say allowing biological boys who identify as transgender women or girls to use the girls' bathroom at schools is dangerous. Several versions of that law to address that question have gone through the legislative process. But appears there is one that final in the final form of the bill that is ready for at least some sort of decision. Joe Paris following this conversation at the state house and Joe people have asked us about this bill kind of how we got to this point. What's changed? What's different about this version as we move forward? Yeah, so this final version of the bill, Brian, is all about the exceptions and the exception for allowing a biological male to go into the women's restroom or vice versa. That was brought up by a few lawmakers. So Senate Bill 1100 basically says students need to use the bathroom that goes along with their biological sex. And there's a section in the proposed bill that says if a student doesn't want to go along with that for any reason, a reasonable accommodation needs to be made. So the amendments to 1100 center on exceptions to the rule a clause was added to ensure that athletic coaches for example are allowed into locker rooms of their team if their coach if their players are the opposing sex so for example a man coaching a girls basketball team they made an exception so that a coach would be able to go talk to his team at halftime but with all that said lawmakers who support the idea said in a committee this isn't about one type of student they say that bathroom accommodations would be for any student who doesn't want to use the main restroom assigned to their biological uh, sex the key to this legislation that I look at is uh, acknowledging everyone's rights and the rights here for young girls to be safe and secure when they go to school in this most vulnerable position and also young boys can be safe and secure in a place where they're most vulnerable. And finally, everyone else, well, they can be safe and secure and comfortable. So Democrats and Republicans in committee kind of agreed on the idea, but another section of the bill has some lawmakers pushing back on the entire concept. The proposal has a civil cause of action, meaning enforcement of the bathroom laws would come through a section that says any student who wins a legal action brought under the law can win $5,000 from the public school for each instance that that student encountered a person of the opposite sex while accessing a public bathroom, changing facility, or overnight sleeping quarters on a school trip. Democrat Representative Steve Burt said that the concept of the bill is okay, but the civil action, it goes too far. What I am extremely concerned about this trend of legislation by intimidation and threat of legal action and financial penalty. It's legalized distrust of our fellow public servants. To me, I would just want to see us remove it. It's unnecessary. And it really sets a bad trend. And for the, for the, for the similar reasons that Representative Nelson meant, it, uh, you know, but you want to make a quick buck, go sue your school uh, and settle out of court. And you can do it over the next four years. We don't need that in our laws. Lawmakers in committee responded to Birch saying that the law needs to be taken seriously. The civil cause of action does that in their view. It looks like we might have lost our audio there, but lawmakers were saying that they really wanted to make sure that they have this civil cause of action in the legislation because that way it'll have teeth. And lawmakers who support the idea say that if it doesn't have teeth, well, then there's no reason to pass the law because they, in their view, believe that would probably have to have an, an issue. So uh, anyways, Brian, uh, as we continue to follow this, we now know that this is going to go to uh, the full Idaho House. And something that was said at the end of committee by the chairman is that Idaho superintendents and school districts have kind of worked on this version of the bill with lawmakers. Them saying, look, we're looking for guidance here. The way it is right now is each school district kind of has their own policy. We've heard from superintendents and school districts that said, look, take this out of our hands. We want to know what to do. I want to know who's going to be monitoring this. Like, how do you enforce this or prove something like this in a school? It's going to be difficult, and we're going to find situations where, uh, you know, critics of the idea say, are you going to have somebody standing at a restroom saying, well, are you a boy or a girl? Can I check? So stuff like that, it's going to have to play out, wow. and that's what, you know, critics of the idea say, this is messy. Supporters yeah. say it should be pretty easy to kind of legislate it. Okay. Thanks, Joe. We'll keep an eye on it.